morning. This is Michelle Papanicolaou, Director of Curriculum and Instruction at Fenton High School. Never could anybody have anticipated a school year like the one we are about to begin. But we, the teachers, staff, and administration want to assure you that we are ready. We are sure that we will have to adjust and pivot at points, but we feel confident that your child will have a quality learning experience this fall. We also know that this will take a great deal of collaboration between school and home, and we are grateful for your partnership in this endeavor. For your convenience, we've put together a short screencast with some FAQs related to the parent and student experience throughout the first two weeks of school. Let's get started. FAQ number one, what will my child's first day of school look like on August 12th? Actually, the first three days of school, August 12th, 13th, and 14th will all look similar. Students will attend class with their Bison Time teacher from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. We are calling these first three days of school our student boot camp. During this time, students will reconnect with classmates, learn about their schedule, their expectations as learners, how to manage their time and workload, etc. They will also have homework each day in which they will learn how to use technology tools that can ensure their success in the remote learning setting. On the last day of boot camp, students will have access to messages from all of their teachers about their academic classes that will start on August 17th. How will we know where to go for boot camp? Students will automatically be placed into their Google Classrooms by their teachers no later than Monday at 3 o'clock p.m. Students should log on to their Google account, pull down their Google app from the menu on the top right corner of their screen, and choose the classroom icon. They will find their Bison Time classroom in this section. FAQ number two, what will my student's schedule look like when they start classes on August 17th? All students are expected to be available for live online sessions from 10 o'clock a.m. to 3 o'clock p.m. every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. They will also be required to attend their live bison time on Mondays from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. Each class will host two potential live sessions a week for which students should ensure they are available. One session will be mandatory for all students. The other session may be optional depending on the expectation of the teacher. When looking at the schedule in front of you, you will see that period four runs two days in a row on Tuesday and Wednesday. Under the period, you will see either live whole class connection or live small group whole class support. The first day is to ensure every student has the opportunity to interact with their teacher and classmates. The second day is to be utilized by the teacher to support small groups of students or at times the whole group for certain areas of their learning that need further addressing. There may be times on the support day where students are excused from their live session and are able to complete their work independently. FAQ number three, what will my student be expected to do on Mondays and outside of the hours of 10 a.m. to 3 p.m.? Every course will have expectations for student learning outside of the live connection and live support days. These expectations will be provided to you and your student at the beginning of each week by Monday at 10 o'clock a.m. Students are expected to review these weekly outlines on Monday, begin planning, organizing their weekly responsibilities, and continue engaging in their remote learning tasks. FAQ number four, how is this remote plan different than the remote learning plan my student experienced in the spring? Well, besides higher levels of structure and the expectations for students to be available for live sessions, there are higher levels of accountability. Attendance will be taken for both um, live connection class periods and on a daily basis. Students will need to submit a daily e-learning attendance form every day by 3 o'clock p.m. Additionally, students will be expected to master learning and earn a passing grade in order to earn course credit. No student will earn credit unless they've completed and passed the essential assessments for the course and have shown evidence of their learning. The grading scale will continue as it had in the past prior to COVID. FAQ number five, how will I know what is expected of my child in each course and how can I support them? At the beginning of each week, parents will receive a weekly outline from each of their child's teachers. This outline will include a checklist of assignments for the week, where to find assignments, where to turn them in, teacher contact info, etc. In addition, we encourage parents to sign up for their child's Google Classroom and communicate regularly with their child's teachers. FAQ number six, what if my student is struggling to find success in remote learning? 
Office hours have been set aside for both you and your child from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. throughout the week. Each teacher will post their available days for this support at the beginning of each week and post available appointment times for you and your child to sign up. If you are not able to join a specific appointment slot, no problem. You may email a teacher anytime with questions. Students failing to earn a passing grade will also receive an extra layer of support. After the first three weeks of school, if they are still struggling, they may be assigned uh, to an online accountability mentor or an online academic support teacher on Mondays between the hours of 10 p.m., sorry, 1 p.m. and 3 p.m. Finally, if you have a significant concern about your child's socially social emotional well-being or use of technology, we encourage you to reach out directly to your child's counselor for assistance. Finally, FAQ number seven, how can I stay up to date with Fenton's remote learning plan and how can I provide feedback about how it is working for my child and our family? Fenton will provide information through a variety of communication methods throughout the school year, including town halls, Wednesday words, etc. In addition, we will continue to survey parents and conduct focus groups throughout the year to better understand the experience in the home learning environment. Finally, Fenton will host a Parent Academy series where screencasts will be provided on a regular basis for guidance on how to support the home learning environment, how to navigate certain technology programs, et cetera. Here's hoping to a positive start to the school year and our continued partnership in navigating these unprecedented times. Thank you in advance for your partnership and we look forward to seeing all of the students as they return to us on August 12th. Have a great day.